Hey, what is going on everybody? Scott Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some more Football Manager. We are about to take on Aston Villa. Uh, and uh, they are still in a relegation battle. We, on the other hand, are officially safe, which is good news. Let's go and have a little look at the league. Um, so, Southampton are currently sitting on 34 points. Aston Villa are on 37. Um, and uh, the goal difference is well within their favour. So in all honesty, it's between Derby and Southampton. Uh, I'm not sure who's got to play who. I don't know what uh, what is left at the bottom here. So Southampton have to play Norwich. And Derby have to take on Man City. So it's going to be tight. It's going to be real tight. I wouldn't be surprised if they both slip up. Look at Man City not even making the Champions League. Looks like Liverpool have finished as as the uh, the champions. Arsenal in second, who were leading for a long time. Um, but uh, yeah, this is this is tied down the bomb. The game against Villa doesn't really make any difference. Um, so what I am doing is, from our our tactics point of view, I'm playing some of the youngsters um, just to to get them game time, really. Um, and I'm also trying to uh, put some of these players on the bench so we get them in the uh, in the shop window. Um, see if we can get them get them sold. Interesting. Last time out, let's show you the uh, the results we have had. Uh, so I think the last game we played was Derby. Then we went on against Wolves. Let's go and have a little look here. As you can see, we absolutely thumped them. And let's have a little look at the goals. So uh, here we are winning the ball high up the pitch, playing it through to Esposito, who bursts in. Shot is blocked. And then he finishes the rebound. 1-0. And next up, Plessic picks up the ball. Burst past his man. He's been in fine form the last few games. Um, and fires into that far corner. A fantastic goal. Interestingly, uh, £80 million pound release clause that we've got for Plessic. I think he's starting to get to that kind of area. Pinho gets to the uh, to the edge of the area. Finds Heimbeck, who scores his first goal for the club, which is nice. Um, and then Tuchemeni, bursting forward, finds Esposito, who uh, gets the ball across Serrano. Finds Heimbeck again for his second goal for the club. Uh, and then finally, Lervik, who came on as a sub, fires in a free kick, making it 5-0. We then went on and played against Tottenham. We had quite a quite a young team out again um, playing against Tottenham. And let's go and have a little look at the goals. You'll notice, you'll notice that Heimbeck popped up with two more. He, uh, he scored four goals in two games uh, and went from scoring no goals this season to probably being like our fourth top goal scorer, I'd imagine. There's Serrano, there's Heimbeck, finding the bottom corner, taking a lead after only three minutes. Here come uh, Tottenham bouncing back with a ball out wide to Ricardo, and then a glancing header by uh, by Garner. And then Sanchez plays the ball uh, forward over the top, another one of those goals where the ball is straight forward. Garner slides home, making it 2-1 Tottenham. And then it's that man again, the mighty Heimbeck, uh, who... Uh, he pops up and gets the equaliser. There he is, volleying into the uh, into the far corner. That's how we got here. Um, and now we're ready to take on Aston Villa. I've made some changes, though. So, um, Abby's up top. Heimbeck, Serrano, we're playing him because he scored some goals. Camargo, um, I think the rest suits itself. I've dropped two too many just because I don't really want to play players who are on loan um, for now. And Mitev I've put in for Palmer. Palmard, um, just to uh, just to give him some game time, really. Uh, I'd like to be able to play a left back, um, a young left back, but we haven't got one. Um, let's uh, let's ask them to go out there and prove a point. Let's uh, send the assistant out there, and off we go. So the big thing is what's happening between these two teams here: Southampton versus Villa. I wonder if I can change this to latest scores, and then we can keep an eye on the Norwich. Norwich are already winning, um, and who is the other team? Derby, they're drawing. So Southampton are on their way down at this moment in time. Okay, so in this game, absolutely nothing happening. Nothing at all. It'd be interesting, if, if Derby concede... And Southampton score an equaliser. 
Does that mean that they're level on goal difference as well? There's Pinho. There's Plesic. And Camargo. Camargo's been playing really well in the reserves. That's why he's been already under 23s. That's why he's been promoted. Um, Barrow's going to get there. No, Mitev does well. There's Kenlock. To Plesic. To Camargo. Back to Heimbeck. Into the box. Shot is, shot is from the weirdest of angles. Don't know why they do that. Derby are beating Man City. Abby's there. Oh, that was a chance. It was a chance for Abby to ba break his 16 game or more uh, games without a goal. Somehow, somehow he, uh, he hung on in there. Okay, five minutes to go until half time. It's nil nil. It's been pretty even in this one. Um, Man City and Norwich are, beat, are winning and Derby are beating Man City so it's not looking good for Southampton looks like it's their days in the Premier League are done and dusted there's Pinho into the get into the byline owns Calderon back to Camargo ball out wide is on and it's a great little ball from Camargo there's Pinho puts his ball across there's Heimbeck he's got another what the hell is happening how come Heimbeck is scoring so many goals I genuinely don't understand. What is happening? Well, well, well. I think we've got a superstar on his hands. Fifth goal of the season. I wonder how many games he's actually played. Right, let's uh, let's keep going. Your efforts were excellent. Keep going, boys. Let's, uh, let's wrap up this season with a win. That would be lovely. Look at that. We're in ninth place. What the hell? What the hell is happening? Norwich is still 2-0 up. Derby are still winning. Ooh. Oh, I wasn't looking at goal difference. The goal difference looks pretty similar, right? I'm assuming that's goal difference. Oh no, that's lost. So goal difference is the penultimate column. Oh, so there's quite a difference between them, to be fair. Aston Villa and how slipped down to uh, to relegation territory. They haven't put on much of a fight. I guess they didn't know they were didn't know they were safe. They haven't done much. Calderon with the corner. Cleared away. Comes Barkley. I think that's Mitev struggling to keep pace. There's the ball across. Me and my big mouth, they haven't done much, but they have scored. Well, well, well. That says everything it needs to say about our team. I think our corner, um, being for pace, and then completely unmarked, tidy little finish. I think that says a lot about us, really. Question is, do we want to make any changes? I'm not impressed by Plesic saying he's not interested. Let's bring on you, and let's bring on you. We're going to make two changes in there, and then I guess we'll make this change up top as well, since Abby is terrible uh, and has to go. Just hasn't worked out for him. It's a big money move for him, and he's been terrible for us. Okay, last ten minutes or so, there'll be a two nil up. Jeez. Southampton are 4-0 down, I think that said. There's Downs. There's Pessina. Trying to get those two in the shop window for the last game of the season. Kenlock bursting forward, fires it across. Esposito shot is saved. 3-0. And this one is done and dusted. We're saying goodbye to Southampton, Villa, Derby, Everton all stay up. And we're going to finish the season in 10th place, which is ridiculous. Halfway, mid-table, who would have thought it? Pinho beats a man. He started to look pretty good over the last couple. Again, we've won the last couple of games, so we've looked better. But um, he started to look all right. There's Pessina. And again, he's been getting the ball higher up the pitch, which helps. Pessina bursting forward to Calderon. Out to Kenlock. 
Can we get a winner? That'd be lovely. Kenlock. Still holding on to the ball somehow. Have we got a penalty? It's a penalty. I have no idea who's going to take it. Absolutely no clue. Esposito, here he comes. Could be nice to finish the season with a win. And we do. Get in, boys. And if that pushes up a, a place in the table, that makes that makes more money for us. Simple as that. Bosch fires at home. Keeper going the wrong way. And there we go. End of the season. Great win. Villa will be happy they stayed in the league, but I'm delighted with the last bit of form. And I have no idea where Heimbeck's form came from. Um, um, where Where is this coming from? His finishing isn't that great. His anticipation is quite good, but I just don't understand where... He's played four games, eight as a substitute, so started four, and he's got four goals. What the hell just happened? Or five goals now, I guess. Um, okay, I think we're, we're good. I think we're done for the season. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the um, what the board want next season. We've just received 27 million, for 28 million for finishing eighth place. Um, top half collective bonus has been paid out only 375 only 375k it's a lot of money but at the same time it's not that much money in comparison to what we just made um, but uh, that's good news hopefully we're going to get a hefty transfer fee we've got a lot of scouting going on I'm going to go through all of this and see if we can find anyone who uh, who really springs to mind and, and looks like they'll improve us I think we need to do two things um Develop players using the youth system, play entertaining football, um, play attacking football. What's the difference between the colours here? Play Is this how important they are? Um, Five-year plan, work within a budget. Well, we were over it for a bit of the season until we asked for more money. Um, avoid relegation, work towards establishing as a Premier League. We, we tick this one as complete, apparently. Um, long way to go. Hopefully we get some good, hopefully we get some good funds. Interestingly, next season I'm looking at probably replacing him with a with a better player, selling him. Um, these two don't play for us at the moment. Getting rid of Piscina, um, maybe getting rid of Clements. No, and Tuchemeni is going to go. There's a lot of players who are going to to, to move on. I think um, we'll accept the current vision. I think that's fine. End of season team meeting. I'm no idea what I'm going to say to the boys. Um, squad break for the end of the season. Destination camp. Do we want to go to America? Are we going to get much love from America? I'm not sure we are. I say we go to Germany. Why not? Don't think we're going to bring in the money for being in uh, in America. Um, you know, there'll be a Liverpool there, a Chelsea there, and all the rest of those big teams making uh, making moves. Look at this. Look. What a legend. Valued at £4 million, Currently being paid £925 a week. <laughs> Love it. Right. What are we going to say to the boys? In last season, I hope you have a good break. Um, I'm aiming for a mid-table finish next season. Oh, come on. Ah, well, that. Well, that isn't quite what we were hoping for, but never mind. Um, we'll uh, we'll aim for mid table again. See what happens. Um, improve the co club's coaching. What are you talking about, mate? It's going to give us another chance. So we need to get some new coaches in as well. Initial budgets have set seven hundred twenty-five k in a transfer budget of fifty point six three million. These values can be altered later on. Well, board, since you've got 60 million in the bank and you're giving me 50 of that, I guess I should be quite happy, right? We'll see if we can free up some funds by selling a few players. Um, we're obviously going to take a, a week or so break um, in between episodes. And then I guess we'll be back with the start of a new season. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Let me know how you think we're going to do next season. I really appreciate the support on this. And I will see you all again soon. Thank you. <laughs>